hello welcome back to another video you yes you so this video i'll be talking about 10 things i love about the philippines so number one on my list would be eating sweet things in the philippines there's a lot of sweet stuff okay from the high tea, you know philippines compared to the country i come from there is a lot of sugar here you know there's a lot of sugary food you know it's very nice okay and for me personally i've been someone who loves sugar that's not good anyway but i just kind of love some you know like you know ice cream candies and stuff like that but here in the philippines there is abundant like there is a lot more than you want like there's so much things to try if it comes to something very very tasty i mean with sweet okay not i'm not talking about uh, uh flavors or, or, or spices I'm talking about the real things having sugar in them. There is a lot of options from candy to locally made candies. This is just a lot of things to taste. There's a um, um, iced tea. There is a uh, what is it called? Shake. Yeah, they have the shake. It's so sweet. There's a lot of ice creams. You know, street food ones. The proper ones in 7-Eleven. There's just so many options. I love that about the Philippines. Okay, being someone who loves sweet stuff. So on my list, I'll go to. Philippines have coins. Philippines is not the only country in the world that have coins. My country also have coins, but that was when I was so small in which I didn't even have the memory of spending coins. But my elder brother, they do have the memory. So it's like in our country, the currency doesn't have coins. And when you come to the Philippines and you see coins, it's like you're so surprised. When I came, I was keeping so many coins because I was... I don't know, maybe I was just surprised, I was excited, I just kept so many coins. You know, it's just like I've been watching movie, you know, I see people put uh, coins, then they have something to hold, it's not like tick, 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 tick. So, I was just excited to keep coins, but, you know, later I just realized it's just a normal thing. So, I don't keep coins anymore, I spend the coins when I get them, but I do personally love that about the Philippines, they have coins, you know. It's awesome you have coins. Coins have its own advantage, like a lot of advantage actually. So I love that. So number three on my list will be love in the Philippines. Okay. What I mean by love in the Philippines is that Filipinos knows how to love in extreme way, which is very, very nice. Like I see Filipinos, you know, even in schools or maybe you go in public, the way they treat love whenever two Filipinos, I mean couples are going, or boyfriend and girlfriend, they hold each other's hand like, they grab the hand like, I don't want someone to steal my boyfriend. Hey, no one is gonna steal your boyfriend. <laughs> but it's it's all right, okay? I really like that when I see something like that. It just kind of make me smile. It's not something so often that common. You see couples holding hands. It's not they don't love themselves, but it's not like in the culture, you hold your hands around like someone is trying to snatch your husband and you're trying to keep him safe, or, you know? Oh, I love that about the Philippines, okay? If you're in the Philippines and you're Filipino, you probably know what I'm saying, okay? Or maybe you've been in the Philippines before. So, I don't want to make the video too long. Let me go to the next point. I'm going to be talking about number four of what I love in the Philippines is dig and fix. I mean, the water company, which is probably Prime Water. I'm not sure, maybe Prime Water is the one also giving water in your area if you're living in the Philippines. But they're always digging the road beside the road and fixing pipes. I don't know how come, but I just like it. Like these guys, immediately something comes up, they're always there. They have like a long meta they always hold in their headset. They're always tracking and tracing. And there is a, probably a point here that I know in the Philippines. And they've dug that same point maybe five times already since I came here. And fixed back the road and the, 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 the asphalt. And they're gonna come back to dig. I don't know if the water can get a problem, but I just love the fact that they respond to things. I know they, they respond to things so quickly and they fix, even though there's a, a, a issue. So whenever I see them actually walking on something like that, it uh, makes me feel good. Like, okay, they really care and actually they're ready to do anything uh, when there's any kind of problem, okay? So the next thing on my list would be, in the Philippines, there is so much dentist okay um what i mean by there's so much dentist like the country i come from i know i don't know maybe, but we don't have so much dentist and i don't think we have so much tooth issues also maybe there is so much but i don't think when i was growing up i have friends i have family they have tooth issues not so common i don't say there is not 
But in the Philippines, maybe because there's so much sugar here in the Philippines, there's a lot of tooth issues, which means there's dentists everywhere. From block to block to block, every city, you know, you're gonna see dentists in the road, dentists in the opposite road. Like there's literally dentists everywhere. It's a very lucrative, a good business here. If you study dentist and you're gonna work in the Philippines or you are already, you are already a dentist and you're working in the Philippines, it's very, very nice, okay? That there's dentists everywhere because um, even though my tooth doesn't have issues, I have to visit the dentist because there's dentists everywhere. Like I need to do check up because they are available, okay? Which is very, very nice. I love that about the Philippines. There's dentists everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Let me go to the next one, uh, which is gonna be number six. Going to different iconic places in the Philippines. Like here in the Philippines, there's so much. Should I say tourist destinations? Even in Batangas, there's Tahal, there's uh, Monte Maria, there's uh, a lot of beach or a lot of, you know, places to visit where you can take pictures. You know, you go to Baguio, there's an iconic place. When you take pictures, you know, oh, you take the picture on Baguio. There is just a lot of such places in Philippines, in different parts of the Philippines, which is very, very nice. So it's literally like you go from one province to another in the Philippines, you can take a selfie of a landmark and people are actually gonna know you you took the selfie from a particular place it's like the statue of liberty in new york you know anyone who take picture with that we all already know you've been in new york city that is how it is in philippines there is always something to take picture of take picture with which is very very nice so it's like the whole country is built on tourism i really really love that okay um next thing we're gonna go is um motorcycle riding the country i come from like motorcycles are not seen as a good thing okay it's like everyone just want to get a car and motorcycles are just seen for the poor people and even in some states they have been banned a lot of nigerian states are actually banning motorcycles but in the philippines when i came here i love motorcycles that even i got one for myself but already sold now because you know my parents didn't like it, like it was unsafe, something like that, so I had to sell later. But I came to the Philippines, I fell in love with motorcycles because the way Filipinos ride motorcycles with passion. I mean, literally, on my street, I see people wake up early in the morning, they have cops, something they call VS1. When they wash the motorcycle, they spray VS1. The motorcycle becomes so shiny, so clean, which is very, very nice. That's not the end, okay? These guys, when they ride motorcycle, maybe with a fiance with their love maybe their couple i don't know they hug each other on the motorcycle which philippine is the first place i'm gonna be saying something like that don't get me wrong that is very very romantic like in the philippines i don't think motorcycles are seen for poor people but a lot of people have motorcycles with passion i see people that have cars okay they have suvs they also have motorcycle in the philippines and they ride it they are happy which makes me to get a motorcycle, but a pity I sold it. So, but I'm willing to ride a big bike, okay? So, you know, the one who sound, I love this sound. This sounds to me, it sounds like music in my ears. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> yeah, I wish to ride a big bike. Like, I really, really wish to ride a big bike. I try to rent, like, I sound. Where can I rent a big bike? But there's no renting big bike. I just want to try it so much, okay? Oh, let's go to the next point of what I love about Philippines. Remember, I love motorcycles. Philippines make me to realize myself. Now, it's it's something I got from Filipinos. I'm in love of motorcycle now. Let's go to the next one, guys. So my next point here of uh, what I love about the Philippines um, is they are not forced to speak English. Filipinos, unlike my country, are not forced to speak English. In my country, before you graduate, you must pass English. Not just pass English. Also in the Philippines, I think you must pass English. But you must be able to speak English properly. You are not getting any job if you don't know how to speak English properly, okay? But here in the Philippines, there's even some of my instructors. They can't speak a proper English. But that doesn't mean they don't know what they're doing, okay? They are very, very good in their profession. Maybe it's programming, it's math, it's whatever. They are really, really good in it. But they might not be able to speak a proper English, which means Filipinos respect their language. They focus on their language. They take their language as a good thing, in which in my country, maybe because we're colonized by the British and we have so many languages, and it's only the English that unites us. So it's like... If you can't speak English, probably you can't talk with other people. But in the Philippines, it's like um, Tagalog is uh, like the 
second national language apart from English and a lot of people can actually speak so it's not a barrier people can still communicate in Tagalog but in my country I understand the condition there but I love the fact Filipinos take their language first before English okay that is very very good and I don't think I don't want Filipinos to later you know on because I've been seeing some people that they're, they're making the same mistakes Nigerians are making they're making their kids to grow up to learn English only. That's that's the only that's the main thing in Nigeria. Like they live there, they don't even know how to speak our own language. The kids grow up speaking English because they want them to be good in English. I've been seeing something like that in the Philippines recently, but not so much like it is in Nigeria. But um, it's not a cool thing, okay? Make your child to learn your language because your language is really great. Like I I, I just I just love the way Filipinos choose their language before English, okay? And I don't want them to be repeating the same mistake Nigeria is making about English. So the next thing I'm gonna be talking about here is um, Filipinos barely use on in traffic, okay? I drive car here in the Philippines and um, you rarely see Filipinos bumping the on. If you're born in Philippines, you think it's a normal thing, okay? But if you have been in Nigeria, you're Filipino, maybe a worker, Filipino worker, this love Filipino workers in Nigeria anyway so you have been in Nigeria or you are in Nigeria in Philippines you know what it's like when you get in traffic in Nigeria ba, 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 ba. even when there's no traffic people are very quick to you know bam, 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 just to bump the on so sometimes it become very noisy because it's always on but in the Philippines, they don't really use the on so much. They would rather use the, the flashlight, like to flash you. Maybe you can cross the road. Maybe you should wait for them. They don't just use the on, which is very, very nice. And make the whole street so noisy. Like, I can make this entire video right now without you guys hearing ping, ping, ping. I bet if I make that in my house in Nigeria, you're definitely going to hear a lot of on already. Mm-hmm. So, guys, I'm going to go to the next step, uh, which is going to be... My number 10 on the list is Filipinos modify their cars and motorcycles, but mostly cars. I love that. Okay, in my country, it's not something much common. Like, you see someone being passionate about a car. Like, I see people, even maybe it's a old car or a new car in Philippines, they are very, very passionate. They go on a mud, they will think, they will paint, they get marks for the wheels. They get um you know you know the 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 the, uh, the salera is they, they change it the sound they change so many things like they're so they're ready to spend a lot on that car and you know what is great about this it's not just about the money it's about when I see people having passion for something which is really really great I just see this person love that car so much this person love the motorcycle so ready to you know spend do anything to make it shiny in the Philippines there's a low riding motorcycles. They, they, they reduce and they make the almost touching the ground even there's a car like that like they're so low to the ground almost touching the ground maybe some of them have air suspension okay but it's really really cool coming to the philippines and seeing something like that i see passionist here which is very very nice i mean one of the most thing i love about the philippines is about the way filipinos do modification of their cars and motorcycles it's really 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 cool okay if you're born in philippines you think it's a normal thing but for me it's not an everyday thing for me and when i come here i love it okay i really really love it so the next thing i'm gonna be talking about that's all my points okay but i'm gonna be talking about one more bonus which is gonna be building bridges hmm. in philippines they don't stop building bridges everywhere you go especially in manila since i came there's always building 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 build, which is very nice i know you know the country is like rapidly developing which is a great thing for the whole country but also for me to see these guys never stops okay construction as a whole in philippines never stops the moment they're completing one they're already on the another so if you're filipino you don't really notice but i think it's a really really great thing and if they keep it up very soon very very soon you know, Philippines is going to be up there in the sky. You know what I mean? Like, among the uh, first world nation, like, you know, that's what they say. So, I think Philippines should keep that up. I really love the fact Filipinos never stop building. And um, that's it for this video. Guys, let me know if you want to see a part 
three because this is the two video this is the second video i'm making on things i love about the philippines the first one was with me and my friends that was things we love about the philippines this is uh something this video is about things i personally love about philippines and um let me know if you want to see a part three below in the comment section and don't forget to thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe if you have not subscribed because this channel will be having cool videos coming blogs and um Many, many more things to come, okay? You don't want to miss out. I don't want to stop making the video. So, thank you so much for watching this one, okay? I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace out.